Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you the author's final step in getting published in an OJS journal, responding to the proofreader. In the previous video we walked through the copy editing process and saw the author make any final changes to the paper in response to the comments from the copy editor. The journal has now taken that version of the paper and created the publication files, typically HTML or PDF files, in preparation for posting to the journal website. This is the author's last chance to find any minor errors or make any small changes before it's published. You'll know you're ready for this proofreading stage when you receive an email from the journal. Let's take a look. And we can see we've got a new message, proofreading request. And this lets us know that the files are ready for proofing and gives us some steps we can follow to do that. So let's go back to OJS and take a look at that process. As usual, we need to log in. And go to active. Go to our status. And now we're going to jump all the way down to the proofreading section. There's a few things we can do here. We can take one last look at the metadata just to make sure that all of that information is correct. We can take a look at the proofing instructions just to see how the journal would like to have our feedback provided. We can check to see if there are any comments from the proofreader yet, but there's nothing at this point. And now we can look at the proofs themselves. If we go up to the layout section, we can see that there's two. The layout editor has created an HTML version. Let's take a look at that. And we would just work our way through the full text just to make sure there weren't any small errors that were picked up in the uh, process of creating this file or, or that were overlooked as part of the copy editing process. That was the HTML. Back down to the layout section again. We can view the PDF. Okay, that looks good. Back down to proofreading. So if we did find any small errors or corrections, we would add those here to the proofing corrections note. But everything looked fine to us at this stage, so we're ready to sign off. Head over to the little icon and complete. Say okay. This generates our message for the journal, and we can send that off. And that's it. You've completed all of your tasks as an author. You can sit back now and wait for the next issue of the journal to be published with your work in it. I hope you found this series of videos helpful in working with OJS. Thanks for watching.